Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to do the next question of our agriculture optional answer writing practice series. जो हमारी एग्रीकल्चर ऑप्शनल आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस सीरीज चल रही है उसके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन को आज हम लोग करने वाले हैं टुडे इस क्वेश्चन इज डिस्क्राइब द वेरियस मींस ऑफ सस्टेनिंग क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन विद अवेलेबल वाटर रिसोर्सेज हाउ कैन वी सस्टेन क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन विद द अवेलेबल वाटर रिसोर्सेज सो दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आस्क्ड इन द एग्रीकल्चर ऑप्शनल पेपर ऑफ यूपीएससी इंडियन फॉरेस्ट सर्विस एग्जामिनेशंस दैट इज यूपीएससी आईएफएस एग्जामिनेशंस ऑफ 2022 जो 2022 के आईएफएस की एग्जामिनेशन थी उसमें ये क्वेश्चन पूछा जा चुका है सो इट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू सी हाउ टू वी कैन अप्रोच दिस आंसर एंड द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस दैट इज रिलेटिंग टू क्रॉप रिलेटिंग टू वाटर कंजर्वेशन क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न इन वाटर स्केरसिटी सो दिस टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैज बिन आज इन प्रीवियस ईयर ऑल्सो एंड दैट एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू दोज क्वेश्चन दोज क्वेश्चन ओनली सो वी विल सी हाउ कैन वी अप्रोच दिस आंसर so first of all we all know that due to climate change the patterns of monsoon patterns of monsoon the available water resources the available water resources these all are changing Month pattern of monsoons are changing. The uh, the available water resources are changing. We are not having that much of water resources left due to high amount of high water use in irrigation. Due to high water use in irrigation, especially in, especially in green revolution areas such as of Punjab, Haryana, UP, etc. And the states which are Uh, class which are traditionally low in water such as Mar some parts of Maharashtra, Andhra, some parts of Rajasthan, southern states, Madhya Pradesh. So these are the some of the states in Madhya Pradesh. We all know the Chambal areas, the areas around Chambal. So we all know that these are the states which are either facing the constraints of water or are going to face the problem of water in the near future. so it is the need that we need to sustain our crop production we need to change the some things in our crop production so that our crop production is sustained with the available water resources this is the depleting water resources so what are the methods what are the things we need to do to keep our crop production sustainable so we will talk about these methods so first of all we can use macro irrigation techniques such as drip irrigation what these techniques do first of all these techniques reduce the amount of water used we all know that in drip irrigation we just only the suppose this is the root of the tree or the plant the through the pipes the water just falls drop drop and drop just near the roots so what happens the high use of water in surface flow irrigation is not the case here here we have very much reduced amount of water is used and this also leads to the better uh, efficient utilization of fertilizers we all know that fertigation is a term so these things can be helpful so it will also lead to increase in our yield and also lead, uh, lead to uh, uh, conserve water and and enhance our cropping patterns and sustain our cropping patterns so macro irrigation techniques are one government has also also is initiating many schemes regarding macro irrigation such as more crop per drop you can also give example of these schemes here more crop per drop to enhance micro irrigation techniques secondly we can highly focus on rain water harvesting what rain water harvesting will do it will store the water and it will what we all know what we do in rain water harvesting we collect and store the water so this stored water will supplement our irrigation needs this stored water will supplement irrigation needs during dry periods D during dry periods when the there is scarcity of water so in these periods we can use up the water harvested through rain water harvesting so this can be done mulching we all know that mulching how important mulching is that is covering the top layer of soil we can use either organic mulch there are two types of mulch either organic mulch or synthetic mulch so in organic mulch we generally use straws 
the crop waste etc and synthetic mulch there are paper mulches plastic mulches etc so what mulching does it reduces the amount of evaporation that is it helps in soil moisture conservation so what when we conserve the soil moisture what will be the uh, result we will need less irrigation for frequent moisture frequent uh, providing pro providing frequent moisture in the soil so like irrigation will be required and that will help us we can do crop rotations and diversifications we all know that from the green revolution times we are mostly dependent on crops such as rice or you can say paddy which are very high intensive which require very high intensive which require very intensive irrigation that is high amount of water is needed so instead of diversifying our crops and shifting to some crops such as millets which require less amount of water so these things can be helped we can uh, shift to pulses which also requires less amount of water as compared to rice or you can say added sugar cane and also help in the uh, replenishing the fertility of the soils so crop rotation and diversifications can be very helpful we can use methods such as of precision agriculture we can in precision agriculture we can utilize technology such as we can utilize gis we can utilize remote sensing so gis and remote sensing as in another important topics for agriculture optional answer writing because these two have been asked for several times in the previous year questions so i am just mentioning it out here so we can use these techniques gis techniques remote sensing techniques so what these techniques will do uh, you can use different kinds of sensors so it will give us the very much real time data with regards to moisture levels and this data is very specific data so using this data we can know how much water we need to irrigate in which area suppose this is the field and through the use of precision agriculture we get to know that only these two parts of the field are lacking water or lacking moisture and this area is good in moisture so what we will do instead of irrigating the whole field we will just irrigate the areas which are lacking moisture okay so this the use of this data can efficiently uh, it can help us in efficient management of our water resources efficient irrigation techniques it will enhance our water use efficiency so this is how precision agriculture can be helpful we can also practice soil conservation practices such as conservation tillage such as conservation tillage contour farming contour farming terracing so what all these things will do these things will improve our soil structure and when the soil structure will be improved it will improve the um, water retention capacity of the soil hence when the soil structure will be improved it will increase the water retention capacity of the soil hence when water retention capacity of the soil will increase it will use the water more efficiently the water use efficiency will increase the amount of irrigation we needed will uh, come down the amount of irrigation will be less and overall it will also help in efficient uh, cropping patterns and efficient yields we will have good yields so soil conservation practices are very helpful we need to use proper crop variety suppose rice rice is a very water intensive crops so we need to develop such varieties of rice which are not that much high on water we can also develop the drought resistant varieties of some crops which can be grown in droughts also so use of proper varieties with use of developing varieties uh, developing those varieties which do not require less and uh, do not require high amount of water can be very helpful in uh, sustaining our crop production in the low water demand during low water times okay and most importantly we need to do efficient management of water practice how we can do it we need to properly schedule our irrigation scheduling irrigation we need to avoid water uh, avoid over watering over watering should be avoid we all know that many times when water requirement is very low but still we use the surface irrigation methods and flood irrigation methods which highly are unsustainable and leads to wastage of so much of water okay so we have to keep those things out 
we need to schedule our irrigation in which phases of the plant growth irrigation is needed we need to minimize our uh, water wastage and all these things will also help us in maximizing maximizing crop productivity so these things are very helpful so these are the some of the points which i think are very important ones which you should must write in your answer you can also add some other points if you want to but the if you are adding some extra point let us know by commenting so that we can know that the points you are adding are good enough for the answer good for the answer or not so please do comment if you are want please do comment other points also which you want to uh, add in your answers so that is all for today i hope you understand the crux of the question you understand how to attempt these types of question so that is all for today please do like please do share and please do subscribe it takes a lot of and please do subscribe it takes a lot of hard work to make such videos for you on regular basis regular basis basic videos aap sabke liye banane ke liye kaafi hard work hota hai and if you like if you share if you subscribe it motivates us to make more such videos for you on regular basis regularly we will be able to make such videos if you like if you share if you subscribe because it needs a lot of appreciation although i am not telling from myself that appreciate me if you like if you like the work so please do appreciate because these small appreciations motivates us usually to do these things for your uh, for you which could be very helpful to you so that is all for today have a nice day thank you